how do I leverage my time and decide what to create a course or group program or to be less one-on-one -on -one and more uh, one-to-many as a business model? Ah, um, so, I mean, we could talk about this for forever, but you, everything that you have going on really lends itself to, you could definitely, you could easily shift from your one-to-one -to, -one to group and you don't have to offer as many calls. Here's the thing, like, I think we think that we coaches tend to think that the only, it's only valuable if you have a ton of calls and, you know, and you're like working yourself to death. But what's interesting is that you have a 12-week process designed to create and catalyze measurable results in your career. So you have a 12-week curriculum and you said what I love, we meet regularly throughout the 12 weeks. You didn't say we meet every week. You didn't say we meet once a month. Like you, you just said we meet regularly. So that's great. So what is regularly? Well, the truth is like what's so cool and fun about the coaching model and doing group coaching is that we can mix it up however we want. So you want less one-on-one -on -one calls, but you still want to be helpful and guide them through this process. Well, they don't really probably need to talk to you every single week, but it, it would be helpful just so that they don't fall off track or, or, or so they don't fall off schedule to check in with you. So they can do that on a weekly, like the way that we do in front row CEO, the, um, like a shared Google doc where they just check in every week. Um, I did this in my accelerator program or, or, and you could have it like not, or, but, and Voxer access. So they, they Voxer mm -hmm. you and they just check in with you. And it could be just one day a week. Like you only take Voxer calls on Tuesday, or you only take a Monday through Friday from nine to 3 PM. Ease is so easy for you to just turn what you already have into uh, a group program. And you know, because you already have an existing client base, you can put it out there the first time as a beta offer and just say, look, we're just doing this the first time. This is how much it's going to be. But every time after this, you know, the price is going to go up considerably. And, um, and that way you could just, you know, see, see how this fits into that framework. And then you'll be ready to go to launch it a second time for a lot more money. As far as the course goes, the best way to, I mean, you have the, you're, you're set up really well because testing it out in the group model is a great way to test out the content to then create a course. However, I personally believe, and you guys can debate it in the chat, but I personally believe that even with courses, you have to be there, right? Like information is cheap. Now we can get great information mm. everywhere. All of us, we can Skillshare, Masterclass, uh, you, you know, Coursera, Udemy, everywhere. And everybody's selling $37 courses. And a lot of them are really, 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 really good. But when we want to get into the, into the more, well, more expensive category, there has to be, there has to be a human, human support there, I believe. So what some people do, Susie Moore, anybody in Susie Moore's course about, pub, it's like all about getting publicity. I love what she's done. So she has a webinar that she puts out there on Evergreen. So it's out there, Facebook ads, and she's got this really good webinar. It's really simple. It's not, it's, it's, she's soft-spoken. I just love it. And she's got this webinar. And if you buy her program on the webinar, you get it for $4.97, I believe. If you just were to buy it and go to her website, it's $9.97. And the course itself again, it's like a really simple course, but it's good. It delivers what it says it's going to do. But her live component is that she just keeps a Facebook group alive all the time. So she participates in the Facebook group on the schedule that she said she's going to participate, but nothing else changes. So that's another, like that's another format. So for you, I would right away, if you're just doing one-on-one, -on -one, Susie Moore. Yeah, Susie Moore. She wrote, stop checking your likes. I did a couple of podcast episodes with her. They're, they're good. I, her story is, her personal story is amazing. Yeah, so for you, it's going to be really easy because you already have everything. It's just about sitting down and thinking like, how much time do mm -hmm. I want to spend on calls? You know, and then you can have one group call, one uh, maybe three live calls, whatever you get to structure, however you want. And what price, what is going to make you feel really good about showing up for this? Like, 
really good dreamy. You're just ugh, tickled pink. Woo. You can't wait to show up because there's, there is that, you know, what you're charging and what you're delivering is congruent. And then that's like, that's a great feeling. And I wish that for, I hope that, I hope that for you, I wish that for you and you can do it.